Welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle lesson. Now I'm gonna show you a practice technique I call throwaway bow. So for all my beginning students, like say the first day of a lesson, you were learning how to bow, we don't even use the left hand. We do this thing called throwaway bow, which is you put the bow on the string, say on the D string, and you just bow, let it go, and let it ring out. This one little thing I use over and over again with students. So that was down bow to the right. You can also do it up bow. So I'm sort of assuming you've already done a little bit of playing when you, because what we're going to do now is take that and do it on other things, more complex things. So say you're practicing some fingering, and usually with beginners, what happens is the Fingers don't sound as full as the open string. So you get to first finger, and maybe scratchy or just not that full. And so what you can do is, say with first finger, just it's like learning to bow all over again. You just throw away bow. And with first finger in particular on D, if it's really well in tune, you'll hear open E resonate. I don't know if you can hear that on the video. I can hear it. And you can even see it. You probably won't be able to see it. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it on the video, but on your own playing, if you get it right, then if you get it in tune, that is. All right. And so, okay, so then you can use throwaway bow on each fingering you're working on. Second finger, third. Maybe you need to do it several times. All right, um, and so it's a way to bring out your sound, bring out more tone, even if you're doing super simple music, like Mary Had a Little Lamb or something, you can make it sound better. And in fact, um, that's the next step that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a simple tune. So usually what happens is you learn a tune, you get the gist of it, you can play it through, but it sounds kind of scratchy and just kind of timid or, or all, many different things can kind of take away from the sound. Yet, you probably still have a pretty good sound if you're just doing open strings, right? So, my main thing is to try to get you to get that sound, a good open string sound, on any tune you play. Let's start with a simple tune, Mary Had a Little Lamb, again. So, you just learned it. And th this lesson will, is really good for even if you're more advanced, because you can use this technique for something really difficult. Um, but basically, you take the first phrase of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's say you're not playing it that well. You just start with the first note, throw away bow. Hi, kitty. And then, and then you, um, you do the second note with throw away bow. Then you do the first two notes with throw away bow. Then the first three notes. And maybe somewhere in there, you mess it up. Maybe your first finger wasn't that great. You need to do that again. Then back to those three notes. And add a fourth. And then now maybe you're at a point where you can loop something. Now that you've got a nice big sound. All right. So that's the whole technique um, throwaway bow. You can also use it on scales or scale fragments, but whenever something's not sounding that good or you're struggling, simplify it and use throwaway to bring out the sound. So, um... I'm working on a solo by Vassar Clements, bluegrass, jazz grass player. Say I'm having trouble with it, you know, and it's a more complex thing. So for more advanced players, for me, some of the double stops are hard. That one's hard. So I apply throwaway bow to that. 
figuring out the tone and then work that into the tune do the stuff that comes before and after a little bit with throw away bow so that's it i think this is going to be a short video but that's really the whole point use throw away bow as much as you can you can as the absolute beginner you can use it and you can use it if you're totally advanced and you just need to practice something and you want it you kind of want it you're having trouble just releasing the other thing about throw away bow is it it's kind of like a release of energy like sometimes you may take into a, a practice session or a performance some sort of like you're tense about something or worried or thinking and so it's a way of it's almost like violin yoga it's just like you let, let it go release it then try it on a scale then on a tune and then soon enough you just you're you've brought that sound into what you're playing so okay short video but i think it's very useful throw away bow see you next time thanks for Excellent!